See the pain in his eyes, the way he suffer, yeah. No love for his mother, just take love for his brothers. But they distant from communication, from feeling nothing, yeah. Bitch, when I die, don't have no gangsta party. Just load them blicks up and go slide for Mazi. And when I die, don't have no gangsta party. Just load them blicks up and go slide for Mazi. Alright, today, what's a good day? Alright, so Mazi, introduce yourself to what go ahead make this channel. What's going on, man? I already know what the fuck it is, man. It's Scrap Gang JT Monty, man. Big Wolf himself, man. Nigga Wood Wild Channel. Shit, how did you start uh, getting into music? Originally, my auntie was rapping. She was with uh, like a Chicago legend group called The Camp. Then that transpired to my brother, them rapping. They had kids and went in separate ways and gave us deals and it was like shit. My brother ain't never want to put me in the studio, so it was like shit. Once I finally got a chance to be in the studio, it was like I fell in love with that shit, so I just ran with it. And been that ever since then. Do you do you find it better that you write your songs or do you feel like if you punch in? Punching, to me, punching better when you got the gang and you know, then you got the, the the holes in there and it's, it's a vibe, you're trying to catch a vibe, something new is fresh, it's something a motherfucker, you know? But when it comes to like, lyrically, like, talking about something with some substance, it's better to just like write some of that shit down. But I write punch, I do both, so it's not it's not really a set way of how I record, I just, I do both. You more go with the flow rather than yeah, having yeah. like a, oh, I'm gonna write this shit. But if it's like something on my, on my brain, and I know I'm gonna forget it, or I know like this bot just too slick for me to wanna switch it up, I'm gonna down. jot it down, yeah, type shit. Hell yeah. You ever write music without a beat? You ever just type in your notes? Yeah, that'd be them raw feelings. That'd be that. Yeah. That'd be that. It's your emotion. Yeah. The cool was just don't need that in the car. I started doing that shit the other day while I was at work. I'm like, damn, I have so much free time. Just write yeah, down that's shit. what I come up with a few bars. I'm right and then it's just, it's just so easy for you to put a beat to it because it's just like you already know how it's mellowed out of your head, so it's just. And you can yeah. damn near fit up any kind of flow in it if you know how to do your shit. If right. you know what you're doing, uh -huh. I'm one of them. I'm one of them. I, I can put this shit any way. Out of all of your uh, released songs, what do you think is probably your favorite one? Like the one, like your go-to if you're gonna show somebody your music. Uh, <laughs> you mean like? Like, oh, here's this. If you fuck with it, uh, there's way more. One, oh. one, one feelings and then one like hype song. Feelings, drugs. Hype song, real form. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I, I, when it comes to us, I go, I like Dunk, put me in mode. Who is this motherfucking goof? <laughs> that, that's that's a no brainer, but like, by myself? Uh, yeah, I'll speak yeah, yourself. Yeah, drugs, yeah. that's yeah. Philly, emotion, raw. Like, yeah, hype shit, right like, there. real form, hell yeah. yeah. Do you feel like um, when you f first uh, show somebody your song, do you feel like that's like a, a good start for an impression for them? Nowadays, you never know what's a what's a good first impression to some people. Cause some people like conscious, some people like just straight drill shit. Mm -hmm. Some people like love songs that get you in your feelings or like some raw wave type shit. So it's just depending on the type of vibe when a person come across asks you, you know, about your music. About your music. Yeah. I mean, and I, I and I got different ways of that shit, so yeah. I can yeah, do that. Like, yeah, styles, like you can show depending off the vibe. And then if and then if it's like if I can't really depict if that's the right word, if I can't depict your vibe of what song I want to play, mm -hmm. I got a go to in my head that just bop for bop and just it's, it's it's simply made for that type of shit. Like that one verse made for like. Freestyle, the motherfucker walk up on you, spit this, or you catch a famous rapper, or you want some shit like Hot 97, some shit like that. It's specifically made for that for a motherfucker, like, ah, he can do this. And he lyrically raw as hell. Yeah. Would you classify that as like uh, being an MC? Because it seems like there's not too many MCs like around like that can spit a freestyle off off the rip and then oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, really yeah, constructive yeah. with their bars. Do you feel like there's not that yeah. around? Like, I mean, it's around. But people don't really, it's not that no more. No, it's not genre that's that. You're not genre that's an MC or 
They just oh, I'm lyrical, or, I'm versatile. So it's not like really a, it's just like a different timing, but if, if you want to put it in just like lamest term, or yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a real MC, like freestyle, lyrically, written, all that. And that diversity, it'll uh, obviously carry longevity throughout that, your yeah, career because you, you have unlimited options. Like I say, some people stuck on drill music. Some people getting tired of that shit. Like, now, I don't want to hear this, so I won't. That's why so many people be stressed out about Raw Wave and Raw Wave, how you feel like you just. <laughs> so you going to be like, <laughs> you go, you go an to emotional roller <laughs> coaster, bro. <laughs> you feel like you Raw Wave, because. That big man gets to seeing his heart out, bro, and it's like, That's damn, bro. <laughs> Yeah, like off of the texture. It, it's 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 all dependent on you. So I just it's all it's all in the moment. If you think about it, it's just right then and up. Life is what you make it. Music, music wise. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he can achieve on a lot of levels. Honestly, that's you know what I'm saying. Me speaking. And I feel like that about a lot of a lot of Chicago artists. I feel like that about a lot of people in general. Like damn, with the right with the right motivation or the right push or just the right people behind them in particular. Mm. I feel like oh yeah, they'll be bigger. They'll they'll blow more. You know, for sure, for sure, for sure. And he one of those for me. Like right now, right now he one of my he he one of my top picks for the underdogs. And it's a couple of. But he want he when it come to my top five, he's in my he, he he's like number number two in my top five right now. Tell ya, I I, I I forever want to be the seen as an underdog. I always label me that. I don't want to be the big guy. I don't want to be the limelight. I'm an underdog. I'm a franchise player. I understand that. You know the real definition of that? I'm Kobe in this shit. I'm the Kobe of JG, man. You hear me? Like, who's, who's your Shaq fan? Who my Shaq? Yeah. Big Rogue, like. Who your Steve Nash? <laughs> nah, he ain't even Steve Nash. We gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' nah. Who my Rick Fox? Nah, fuck that. Who your Damian Fish? I'm my dad. Who's your Michael Jordan? Yeah, Damian Fish, right? Fish, Fish from Derek Fish. Derek, Derek Fish. He go. Who's it? Who your Derek Fish from? I ain't gonna like his Derek. Hey, Derek Fish ain't got that. And, and, and Kobe was. Man. I ain't gonna lie, me and my boy could be like Shaq and Kobe, but. Derek Fisher got what, five rings too? Yeah, I gotta think about it. He was there with Kobe through, from, from Kobe, what, rookie year on? Nah, from uh, the second, Kobe's second year into the, in, in, the, in the league. He been him, 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 him Derek Fisher and Kobe that the whole time, so who be your Derek Fisher? Devo. Devo. <laughs> For sure. Oh, baby. Devo. Who would be the MJ? If, if we was if, if we was in, on that team, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna let I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let Big Room be MJ. Cause he shit. What, what 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 was what was the white boy? What was his name? Who uh the play the I'm coach? Uh uh on the board. I just can't remember the name. It ain't Popovich, is it? No. Nah, hell nah, man. Oh, you talking about the white boy that was playing with them when they coached? Yeah, he when they was playing with them. I think Popovich was over there. Like, Popovich was on Spurs. Spurs. Yeah, that's what he played. I can't throw shit. I ain't got no <laughs> Don't matter. We ain't here, though. It's my Y'all know I know who it is, bro. I just can't think of his name. I can't think of his fucking name. <laughs> because look, I was just watching Suicide Squad and fucking um, Will Smith said his name at the beginning of. Oh, he was like, oh, is this, this is a pep talk? What do you say? Uh, that's crazy. When, like when you when you know you want, you know some shit, but then you can't even get it out. We finna get lost in that sauce right there. <laughs> hey, everybody who watched them, like y'all dumb asses. Uh, are you talking about uh, Phil Jackson? Phil Jackson. That's what I'm saying, bro. I fucking knew that bitch off the rip. I, I knew it off the rip. I couldn't get it out, fuck. Rugas, Jordan, I'm Phil, Devo, Pippen. You hear me? Who's, Fuck is wrong with y'all? Who's robbing? Trap! Shit. Mr. Jeff Five. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite basketball team? 
since they're on top of like a basketball. The Lakers. Lakers. The Lakers. That hard Kobe fan. Yeah. That's the I reason. Cry like like specifically. Specifically. Kobe. Kobe. Since day one. Like, I'm talking about that hard Kobe fan to the point. I was in college. I had a my granddaddy who passed away. Big house, like, he had gave me a my daddy had gave me his jersey that he had, he got signed. And I guess my brother thought it was trash. And he didn't see the signature on that bitch, he threw it away. I was in school, my OG called. I called, like, send me my jersey to go with my crazy eights. She like, ain't no jersey in here. Oh. <laughs> I was my bad. <laughs> I bet she did. Are you, <laughs> are you a number eight or a 24, Kobe? Era, which which one I love the eight, most? Eight or twenty four. Twenty four. Cause I feel like eight. He was stamping it. Eight. He was stamping it, but twenty four was like a two point the mic. Yeah. You feel? Me? And that's what I am. Like I'm like I'm the two point version. I'm that younger, faster, more advanced, high basketball rap IQ. <laughs> I'm like yay. If you, go over your if you were to make one trade off for the Bulls, who would you trade out? If I had to make a trade out. Shit, won't be no trade out shit. Them, 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 them teams was them teams for a reason. They won multiple championships for a reason. They was a dynasty for a reason. JG is a dynasty for a reason. We ain't making no trade outs. We got what we got and we stuck with who we stuck with. You know? Yeah. And let me say we got a full fucking roster of dogs, you hear me? Pure dogs. Like bread for this shit. So do you play 2K then? I don't play games. He just lying. He just blew me out by a dub and turned the game off on my dick. <laughs> He's just lying, fuck. Twomped his ass, passed the stick. Oh my dick, turned the. I, well, technically he didn't turn anything. I turned it off. I turned Call of Duty on. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> my game. My game. And, and he swore. He swore everybody he knew I turned the slides. He did turn the slides. <laughs> I forgot about that part. <laughs> and then he did turn the slides up, man. He, he swore to God on everybody he knew I turned the slides on. <laughs> he didn't do nothing but turn this shit on pro. I, mean, I ain't know. I don't know nothing. I was just. I thought that nigga wouldn't that swoop my stupid ass. But he a great. He he he, he kicked my, got my ass. Damn. Which one of your favorite movies? Favorite movie of all time? Yeah. Get rich at that trend. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, Shorty yeah. say fly at my feet. Fiends all around. Across the old tape. On the side of the tail. That's to be my shit. That's my shit right there. That's a real motivational ass movie. Looking back on uh, any of the or looking back on your route throughout your career of making music, is there anything that you go about differently that you like did? Hell no. Nah. Think you're making all the right moves, right? Hell so, yeah, I got I, know, I, just, I got so. unlimited memories with those of y'all I never want to trade nothing from the world for I got unlimited memories with big clout. I, I got memories stuff. with cash. Break like I got memory deep with these guys that's gone. Like I can't even got memories with the ops, like LA and shit, like being chased and shot at and shot. You feel me? Like hell no, nah, that shit made me who I am. That shit built me. That shit made me tougher. That shit made me a dog. So I want Trey. I want. I want. I want to fix shit. I love my life. It got me who I'm at right now. That all them, all them situations got me to this interview. No, I mean I'm not sure if you. Um, been asked the question before, but do you think, uh, what, what's your thoughts on um, the whole cash thing? The cash situation? Yeah. It's just a tragic situation, man. But it's just a very sad situation to see my boy come home and then just like, uh, 
get to where he got in such a small amount of time and then God called him home. That's what he saw fit then. We just gotta accept that we can't argue with Maker, you know. But I miss my dog though. He had a very funny, nonchalant yeah. asshole. <laughs> no bell. I miss that bitch. Right. So uh and do you have a go-to style, like a, a jeans or like shirt or like shoes? Like, what's your oh, favorite yeah, like, kind of clothing? Just on some like some hood everyday shit. Zara jeans. I'm a white, I'm a ones type of guy. I love all kind of ones and tims. So you feel like hoodies, that type of shit. Now some fresh shit. Mary's. I love Gucci, but for my big brother, Burberry, man, that's my go-to. Burberry. Yeah, that's my go-to. Like the baby daddy fit. You fuck that bitch in the back with the Burberry. Yeah, the baby daddy fit. That little bitch in all your songs too, huh? Yeah. Do you have any uh, ideas for music videos that you want to incorporate soon? Yeah, like I want to. I want to do some shit. Like I get to talk to a counselor. I got like some. I know it's cliche, but like nothing's cliche. I want to say like prison shit, but like a little certain prison shit situations, like. Just coming off the road, towards like that, coming back home, seeing shit like what I'm going through now, and what it just was before I was like this, so shit like that, man. Kind of like a like a story that's developed, like yeah. the shit I've been through, and then now what it is now. Yeah, show like they show like scenes, like shows, past shows, shit like that. Like, everybody got one of the videos, but it's, it's always best to make one of the videos and just show like the time frame and how you develop as an artist and the road you took. So. Oh yeah, it's a good way to get, let your audience get an insight yeah. of it as like, well. The, like, it's like a blog video, it's like basically, this is what we do, this is what's going on. This. Hell yeah. Alright, when it comes to sipping alcohol, what's the go-to, man? Um, I'm really just starting to be a, a liquor type of guy. I mean, Pat Ryan. Uh... Shit, Hennessy, that's that scrap shit right there, man. man that's that Hennessy be a go to. So busy, bro. That shit, like. Them two shit, for me, I'm really a, I'm really an activist, pint type of guy, like. Because of my brother, so. He had me addicted to that shit early, so. I, I really just started drinking liquor. I, I left that shit alone when my brother passed away, so. Liquor, like. My crutch now, what you want to call it? Yeah. <clears throat> so you're more of an advocate of smoking weed rather than just drink? Yeah. Hell yeah. I, 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 fuck I think my lungs is black as shit. Hey, I don't know if it's true, but I heard THC don't really damage the lungs like they say it does. But obviously inhaling smoke, that's gonna fuck something up. These <laughs> <laughs> bitches is crispy. He said it's crispy. Some type of way. Lungs. Do you have a favorite strain of marijuana? Um, or are you just like, oh. Not really, but I know when I was just in like Arizona, I smoked some shit called mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> mac and cheese, mac that and shit had me so high. Like, you I don't think it? I went outside the whole day. Like, I ain't step outside the hotel. I was so fuck out. I think I watched. Long order all day. No back. So how much is the fit today? The slice shit, shirt 50, pants like 180, shoes 180. Man, niggas be lying like, I'm still in the trench. I'm watch, couple bands, ring, two bucks. So Small shit. shit, man. Like, I'm still here. You ain't gotta, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta wet design, man. 
it's cool, but that shit really played out, man. You won't think about it. We, we giving our money to some motherfuckers who don't like us. It's, it's, it's nice every once in a while. Other than that, I'm Dope Boy Fresh. He's a Dope Boy Fresh. I'm dope Boy Fresh. That's what this is. I get your bitch like this, though. I bet she's gonna tell me I look nice. <laughs> we were talking about weed earlier. Have you had any other experiences with any other drugs that have uh, stuck? Um, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a die hard Zan fan. But, you gonna forget a lot of shit, man. Look, I done had a lot of, a lot of cases caught on Zans. But, I used to be a real bad per kid, too. RP to my sister, that's the like, When I lost my sister, like, I gave that shit up. Cause, and people don't know, Destiny is my twin, evil twin butter baby mama. So it was like watching my twin just like hurt like that. Knowing I do that type of shit, it just made me like wanna leave that shit alone because look what that shit did to his family, you know? And I'm part of that family, so if they can lose her like that, what's the chance of a motherfucker, you feel me, losing me? Then my brother lose his brother and his, you know? No, nah, hell no. Nah. I gave that shit up. I'm what, a year and a half? Clean? Proud to say I'm off of that shit, man. Get up off of that shit, man.